All right, let's check out another interesting hacking Linux distribution called Black Arch. Now, this is a particularly different one, and I already opened it right here. And as you can see, it's very different compared to other Linux distributions. Now, that's very small. So I kind of need to right click everywhere in order to get stuff. I don't have any, from what I understand, <clears throat> menus or anything. So before we get into this, I just want to show you the web page Black Arch. So basically, it's uh, the front page. It's a, it's a Black Arch Linux pen testing testing distribution. And the thing with these kind of pen testing distribution is that they all tend to be a bit posh to the black hat kind of side. Let's look at that. You have the word black, you have a black sword, you have a black hacker, <laughs> you know, and everything is very black and dark and hacker blue and all that kind of good stuff. Over 2,800 different kind of tools. That is an abundance of tools. Let's just scroll through this and you can see, I keep scrolling. Holy. All right, so I'm pretty sure every tool we need is in this distribution. You know, what I'm worried about is this is, this took me, let me just show you, I downloaded the, the OVA files. That's a 25 gigabytes. That's a lot of tools. So I wanna review this distribution. I wanna talk about whether we need this or not. And I will also take a decision if I'm gonna use this as opposed to Linux Kali. Now, recently I reviewed the Linux distribution called Black Ubuntu. Uh, Again, one attempt to make it more black hats, you know, more hackerish. You are the, the, the mysterious stranger that, you know, sit in the cellar and, and you hack. And that is what they wanna achieve with these kind of distributions. I I highly disagree that they need to do that because the ones that really need to take the job serious will probably not use stuff like this. To my understanding, the people in the industry, they used stuff like Backtrack and some of the hardcore fans still use Backtrack because they kind of just had their stuff there, got used to how it worked, the path and everything. And it doesn't really need to upgrade to get a new UI, to get a new, you know, okay, I'm not selling this very good right now, right, am I? So let me just get right into it. Let's just take this away. Um, take a look at this. Now, do we have any browsers? We do have Firefox. Let's start with that. Let's just start, okay, start up fairly quickly. That's good. Let's go to try hack me. Me.com. All right, so let's then, will you, can I zoom, why can I not zoom on this? Whoa, this is this small? Can you see this small? Incredible small, almost gonna, can I not resize this window? Okay, I'm not, I'm not buying this. Okay, let's, um, all right, that's very good. Okay, now let's go ahead and open the terminal. So there, terminal, that's green. That is not green, that is blue. Can I, and how do I zoom in this? Okay. I can make sounds, that's really good. You know, don't take away my zooming ability. But well, can I even see what it says? Press enter. Why can I click? Can I right click on it then? I can do nothing. I have literally no I zoom. No. Um Alright. Well, I don't particular fancy this kind of, you know, already I think this is, I cannot even, I can not even resize the window. Great. Let's see, browsers, network, Wi-Fi, radar, black arch, holy moly. That is, a, ooh, a lot of tools. 
I, I don't want to start up a terminal. Backdoor. Let's see, what do we have? A lot of software, I don't know. A lot of things, evil PDF, sure. Okay, I, I see what this is. Now, if you're the kind of person that likes every single tool there is installed in the Linux Kali, sorry, on the Linux distribution, I guess this would probably be one of the distributions that I'll say, then go, go get Black Arch. But you're not gonna get any easy to use UI, you cannot zoom in your windows, you can do, and that is really bad because when you think about it, how many of you are 13 years old? It, what is happening here? What is happening right here? It just jumps. I think this is a late. I'm getting. Um, what is. What? Okay, so when I scroll my wheel, I'm changing desktops. That is very weird. I think it's safe to say that, you know, already now, we tried a few things and no need to do any crazy anything, you know, I don't want to go ahead and try any tool, that's not really... What I want to say is that I think this is going to be difficult for you to use unless you're a hardcore terminal user. <clears throat> this is what, this is a vibe I get. So if this is for you, you know, go ahead and check it out. I will definitely not go away from Linux Kaylee. It's still the distribution I'm going to go ahead and use, my go-to. Even I'm going to use Black Buntu over this extremely funny distribution. So if you like it, go ahead and try it. I didn't like it. So yeah, if you like this video, by the way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm going to be back to you pretty fast. So until next time, see you again. Bye-bye.